just trying to uh, make every kid happy. Actually, um, I know there's a lot of uh, kids who have some things going on here in the hospital. Uh, so we're trying to have them uh, the best day of their life, actually, and uh, try to give them a visit. If them kids are happy to, uh, when they see me, it's, I'm always a uh, pleasure to do that. So, uh, no, it's uh, a positive day and uh, let's, just, uh, let's make these kids happy. That's all about it. So part of the helping hand at Christmas campaign, um, obviously had the privilege to come down and uh, meet some of the kids and meet some of the families and um, it's always a great time of year where we can sort of come and hopefully put a smile on their face and they put a smile on ours and um, yeah it's a great day. With Covid it made it um, obviously difficult and uh, I think everyone missed it really, I think it's a, it's a time of the year that us as players really look forward to and um, yeah it's something like I said we should probably do a bit more to be honest but um, definitely to be able to put a smile on kids' faces at Christmas and hear their stories is something that's really special and like I said it puts life in perspective a little bit and it makes you realise um, how lucky how lucky you are to do the job that you do and um, yeah the fact that we can come in and, and see these kids and um, brighten up their day just makes us um, yeah really happy. It's special you know to come and make a difference their day to, to, it's nothing for us but it means absolutely everything for them and it really is so special. And obviously at one point a young girl came over and I think she burst into tears after meeting you and Sven. It must just be quite a, a strange feeling for you, but a really special one. It's surreal, you know. A few years ago, not many people knew that Newcastle even had a team. And the last few weeks, we've just grown and grown. Like you say, girls crying like to meet me and obviously probably a bit more to meet Sven. But um, yeah, it's, it's amazing. Well, I think it's a pleasure for us to come down and like be able to see these children and hear their stories and just to give them a bit of happiness in their day and it's they're incredible like hearing their stories and how hard it must be for them to be apart from their families a lot of them have siblings and it just makes you realize how lucky you are to be with your family at Christmas so, yeah. it was very good for me very good experience to be here to spend some time with them try to make them happy and it was very good for me uh, it's good for experience of life not just on the beach. Uh, we learn a lot of the kids and it's a very good time, very important. It's so eye-opening to like see all the kids and they're so appreciative of everything and I think like it's just it makes you appreciate what you've got. Um, but it's been it's been absolutely brilliant and me and Joe's walk around and all the kids have just been so appreciative so yeah, it's really nice. It's emotional um, being able to see the kids. Um, they've all got smiles on their faces which is lovely to see. Um, but it just puts things into perspective obviously we're lucky if we get to spend Christmas at home with our families um, things like that but it's great to be able to come in and visit them uh, see them with a smile on their face or even make their day that little bit better. We can't take for granted how lucky we are um, to get to kick a ball around and play football and represent Newcastle United. Um, I'm sure it's something that many of these kids would love to do. To be able to walk around with Alan and, and see the kids it's been lovely. To be honest it's the first time for me uh, here and uh, I can see the patient. I can see like what's happened here, and it's incredible the the support they can have. So to be able to to talk with them, to understand the the situation, and to see all all the kids here, and to be able to give them a little bit more smile and and have a time to play with them, it's, it's just incredible. I love to 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 give back and. For me, this is even more than give some money away, you know, to, to have time with them and I will not be able to do that alone. So the club make that possible and I'm really grateful for that because I know in a life uh, the most important finally it's the memory and will be a great memory for me and I hope will be the same for, for them. Players coming in is fantastic for the patients, having a bit of a, a rough time at the minute, um, going through treatment, not being very well. And the players coming in, having a little chat, um, giving out some presents, it's, it's fantastic, gives them a massive lift. I just think it's incredibly important to come here. It's been such a good day um, and getting to meet so many different families, um, people from all around the country. Um, obviously, yeah, like you said, I'm not um, very close to home, but uh, just being able to be here and um, like put a smile on a kid's face, it, it really, it's been a really good day. I know that um, we were in one room earlier and um, 
the nurses and his mom told us that they hadn't seen him smile in a week. So just to hear that and know that even for like a moment that we can make some sort of impact, it's it's really incredible. It's obviously listening to the stories and and uh, the backgrounds and, and stuff like that, it's, it's hard to, to to listen to it, but it's, um, it's nice that we can come down and put a, a smile on their faces and and see the kids and some of them are very very unlucky and very unfortunate but it's obviously just nice to put a smile on their face. To all the Newcastle fans and the people around have Happy New Year and have a great Christmas. Happy to talk with you. You know how I love the, the supporter and the club. I wish you a very good Christmas and I think you are not ready for what's coming so be ready guys.